name's Gavin Douglas and I'm the Deputy Chair of the Clocks and Scientific Instruments Vetting Committee at the NEC Antiques for Everyone Fair. I'm vetting the, uh, a French Empire clock at the moment. It's uh, an early clock from the early 1800s. It was a style that was extremely popular throughout uh, the 19th century and it was copied subsequently. Uh, in the 1880s, 1890s and into the 20th century. So we have to look very carefully to see if it's a period or a later model. This one in particular is um, patinated bronze and original ormolu, which is uh, powdered gold uh, fired onto bronze. And these mounts are all original. When we're vetting, we have to make sure that the gilding is original, that the dial fits the movement, that the movement fits the case, that they, uh, the hands are of a piece with the clock itself um, and that the style is consistent with the period that we're dealing with. And uh, I can show you that this is absolutely an original, perfect French Empire clock. Signed by a man called Gaston Jolly, it's very well known, he was working in the 18th century through to about 1820. So the maker is in period. The dial is white convex enamel, and that's perfect. No damage to that, so that's fine for vetting. Uh, the style of the case is, is good. The bun feet are consistent with it being an early period clock. And if I were to turn the movement round, you'd be able to see that it was uh, what we call a silk suspension, which went out of fashion in about 1840. So taking these things all in all, it's clearly a a period clock from uh, circa 1810 to 1815. French Empire clocks uh, loosely are dated from 1800 to at the latest 1820, but the specific period is 1805 to 1815. Provenance is, tends to be a problem. I mean, I suppose less than 1% of clocks you can get a really serious provenance. Um, Occasionally they come from, from named country houses, but generally we have to work with what we can see. And that's why it's so important that we pick up on all the various elements of style uh, and of the, uh, the, the type of movement we use. Now if, now if I turn the clock round, I'll be able to show you the type of mechanism that this particular clock has. Some of the Empire clocks of this period would have flat bottom plate. This one doesn't. But the defining factor on this one is that it has what's known as a silk suspension pendulum. And it has outside count wheel. That's, that works the striking, so that's consistent with the period. But the most consistent point is the original silk suspended pendulum. And that wouldn't be on a clock like this after about 1845 the case styles wouldn't have changed until around about 1870. So really, providing that this, has, this movement hasn't been married to the case, which I don't believe it has, everything fits perfectly, everything is consistent, then uh, it's a pucker, pucker clock.